What's up everybody, Mighty Game Bros here. This is Cradle, episode three. We're about to board this trolley and get the lens for our Android girlfriend. Let's let's get started here. Let's uh, not delay. This bell's been ringing, it's... The fuck is that? Holy shit. It's a fucking clown or something? What are you? This thing is freaking me out. Well, where'd you disappear to? Listen, I found out how much they're paying. It's good money. Very good, actually. <sighs> I'm going tomorrow. The procedure is simple. No pain and almost no damage. Sure, your brain is a little worse for wear while their patient recovers, but a job's a job, right? I might even quit the whole flower collecting business. But all that's still just castled <laughs> in the sky. In the meantime, we've got phytocopies to sell. I got an order for you, so listen up. Two red, 70 at the least, one orange. Mm. Sorry, I don't know what that means. Maybe this is what I used to you? do. Look at these Enemy. pictures in the background. Look at this. Spare, so this why are you guy. wasting it? Tabaha is going to get fired. I don't want to go back to getting shut down for 20 days in a month span. Wow. I lost my memory, Tabaha. What are Fido copies? If this is a joke, it's a real dumb one. Tell me what Fido copies are, and why we sell them. Cut the crap. What do you mean, why sell them? Because people buy them. HQ goods are valuable. Somebody beautiful can license a copy of their DNA and sell it. Which can then be used to make all sorts of stuff. Androids, flower vases, like the one on your table. As for you and I, we digitize flowers. Make them into Fido copies and sell them. Understand? People like seeing a high number on the display. Beautiful things are always valued. Oh, this is this is what it means to be beautiful and ugly in this game. You are rated with a number. So fine, okay. Bob. So you want me to pick some flowers? That's what that magnifying no, glass is it, for. Pick some flowers. I found in if the first episode. The first flowers you He's see got a bong down here. Stuff them right Check this out. Who's gonna buy those? What I need is this the prettiest you can find. Looking at porn on his fucking train. I'm not really an expert on aesthetics. Amazingly, today you're even weirder than usual. Look, you take the genome, go up to the flowers and measure their beauty. I need two red gabaras with a 70 HQ or higher, no lower. One orange, 80 or higher, and one yellow, 90 or higher. Make sure to measure only fully open flowers, else the phytocopier will jam up and cleaning it is a pain. Aim at the center of the flower, lest it close up before you're done measuring. Once picked, digitize it with the phytocopier, then pack everything. <laughs> pack into what? Same as always, into a box of covers. Alright, that sounds doable. I'll be back in three hours. What do you want for the job? Want me to bring back food? I need a lens for a female embody. A lens won't help that vase of yours. It was already barely functioning when your late grandfather bought it up in buying Hong Kong. Ain't nothing you can do. It's a cheap, pirated copy. Let it go. It's been gathering dust for years, so let it. Bring me the lens, Tabaha. Fine, I'll bring it. But I want you to know that you're slowly losing your marbles out here. You should move to the city. <laughs> I'll be sure to do that. There's a city. Just one more question. Shoot. What is that number on your chest? What does it mean? Ha! <laughs> Good one. Seriously, I didn't see it coming. All right. I'm off. Tons to do and the weather is getting nasty. Get yourself a hat. <laughs> a warm one. Made of fur. Know what I'm talking about? <laughs> that was one interesting dude. It looks like he doesn't... He's not even part of this rail thing. Hmm. Kind of gave me a bit of a scare when I first saw him. He looked like the clown from House of a Thousand Corpses. So this guy wants us to measure flowers. So that's our duty in this uh, episode, it looks like. Let's check out our task here. Tabaha will get you a lens in exchange for four phytocopies. Pick flowers using the genes gauge. 
You need two red Gerberas and with 70%, one orange, and one yellow. Pick the flowers. There's uh, flower patches over here. Um, I need my scanner lens. Um, so, in this, uh, yeah, this episode is all about flower picking. I might even call it that. I guess that's what that magnifying glass is going to be used for. I don't see any other flowers over in this direction, so we'll head back over to um, that amusement park. It was over here, right? This thing. I'll put this away until we get there running around with the magnifying glass three inches away from my face the number on the chest is a personal heredity quotient everybody's got one yourself included it represents the degree of purity of your DNA in other words it's your value to society Hmm. Okay, here we go. We've got this thing, and there's an open flower here. Oh, that's not even fully open. Looks open. Not this one. what it means to be fully open. They all kind of look the same. Oh, maybe this one is fully open. open again if I wait. Okay, so it's two red, 70 or higher. Open means flat. That's what I'm looking for. And it's got to be right in the center. So let's see if we can find another one. Okay, here's a few here. So is that good or what? What do I do now? Pick the flowers. Okay. So that's one. I've never played uh, a game where I go flower picking. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. score is that? Okay, that one sucks. Six. That's not good enough. I need 70 or higher. I 
That's a good one. Okay, so I've got that one. Um, reds are down. Orange with 80 and a yellow at 90. Okay. This is what I used to do. People buy this stuff. It's pretty fucking crazy. Why don't I just pick the flowers, put them in a vase, and sell the, sell the flowers? I don't understand what the... It is a 2070... What is it? 2075 Mongolia? They do, they do uh, things differently there. That's for sure. Sweet. Down. And a yellow one. A 90 yellow. This could, uh, this could take a few tries here. I haven't hit a... I don't think I've hit a 90 yet. So my memory's really bad. There's an open one. Expecting to have to scan a few of these. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. All right, so we've got our flowers. Let's head back to the yurt and see if we can't scan some of these and get that lens for our uh, Android girlfriend here. That guy in the trolley seemed to think she was a piece of junk. She must have been sitting there for a long time. Um, some leftover android that my grandfather had used and turned into a vase. And he also made mention that she had been pirated. So I don't know what that means exactly. But she's obviously been hacked. Um, kind of left aside. And it looks like this is the first time I've actually cared about her as, as my character in the game. So I have to scan these. I have to put them in the phytocopier and then put them... These are the... Uh, yeah, okay. These are the packaging things that I gotta... Let's pull one of these out. Can I? So I've got my scan thing open, my phytocopier, and I'm going to put one of these red ones in there. And then press the button. Okay, um, now... Oh, okay. Shit, that's a 78. That's not very good. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. The red ones have to be 70. Okay, so it is good. Uh, let's place our other guys in there. Message on the display lid open. My bad. Good one. Oops. Put this yellow one there. I'm going to keep that magnifying glass on me. Um, I'm going to see if I can scan other things in this game. Okay. 
Tabaha will get you lens in exchange for four phyto copies. Pack the phyto copies into the box. This box? I'm guessing it's that box. I guess so. This is it. Got it. All right, so now Buddy's going to be back. Speak with Ida. He's back. Is he back? I don't even know if it is 2076 anymore. It was the last date that whoever was in here pulled, but I don't know if I was the one who pulled it, so it could very well be even further in the future than I thought. Where's Ida? Oh, is Ida the robot? Yes. Sorry, sorry, sorry. That, that was Inhibish, I think. I forget what that guy's name is from the trolley. You know, I was thinking. No, I was thinking. I can ask Tabaha to help you with His the name evacuation. is Tabaha. No, Inhibish. That's a bad idea. I'm Inhibish. Until I've checked the number of my neurocopy, nobody must know about me. Why is that number so important? Because I'm not sure of my authenticity. We don't know where my neurochip was before making its way to you. If I'm a duplicate, then I'll simply be arrested at the first registration. Hmm. Well, all right. It's your call. So, let's check your number. Nothing on that front either. I found a list of the amusement park's employees, but for some reason, my name isn't on it. But I'm sure I used to work here. I need more particulars about the park, anything at all. My memories are fragmented and don't tell me anything. But you remembered something, yes? Tell me. Well, I remember that all kids would undergo a transfer after the show. I don't know why. What? They'd go and, like, herd them into this amusement park and then transfer all their bodies after into androids after the show? Undergo a what? A mirror transfer. That's what the procedure of transferring consciousness into a mechanical body is called. Meaning, the kids would leave the Gerbera Garden in M bodies. Strange, isn't it? Doing a transfer at an amusement park. So where's their fucking real bodies? Buried in the back? Strange is the word. And another thing. Their age. These kids were really young. Around five, six at the most. Winning breathing modules at the... At the <laughs> The amusement park. What's odd about their age? They were way too young for a transfer. Little kids don't get their bodies replaced, but they did here for whatever reason. And I played some kind of role in it. Only I don't remember what it was. Maybe you'll remember more once your side is back. Maybe. If Tabaka makes good on his promise. And if there's a functioning look screen in the park. Tell me more about this device. The look screen. Do you mean its purpose? Yes. How does this screen provide sight? A look screen doesn't provide sight. Rather, it displays an image of eyes. I think it's used in a transfer somehow, but I don't recall exactly how. I'll try to remember why. I'm on my way. Which pavilion should I look in? The second. And don't forget... Okay, I have to... S don't forget... Okay, don't forget I have to what? S find out what I'm the not box forgetting. The the phytocopies. Okay, I got that. See you later. Okay, so... We're on our way back to the amusement park to find... The lens. So, hold on. We are... Ida needs additional source of information to, to recall new details from her past. Perhaps we're restoring her eyesight. Okay, this, this, I, it's not the lens, it's something else. The thing that has your eyes on it. So in the next episode of Mighty Game Bros, we are going to head back to this place and get the piece of her eyes that she needs. It's not a lens, it's the thing that shows her eyeballs, which is actually a pretty cool feature in this game. I kind of like um, seeing the eyes animate. It's not, it's not like 
uh, hand animated. It's like a video. It's like FMV on their face. And it actually adds a lot of emotion to the characters and how they look and stuff. So on the next episode of Mighty Game Bros, we head ourselves back to this pavilion and, and to get that piece that we need. We wait for Tabaha to come back. We put the two pieces together and give her her eyes back. Thanks for watching. Mighty Game Bros. Peace.